Every time I start these videos, it ends up being dark when I'm done. <laughs> So today we're going to discuss all the varieties of peppers to start from seed that I still have. Orange bell, mini bell mix, a banana, a sweet chocolate, a sheep nose pimento, yellow sweet stuffing, a lilac bell, Aji mamangi. Now this is a Jimmy Nardello, Carolina Reaper, Nada Pino. California Wonder, Golden California Wonder. This is the Melrose, and just look how much it's grown since the last video. Horizon, the Zulu, Shishitu, Adrato di Asti Rosso, Gallio, Texas Chili Pepper, this is a Sugar Rush Peach, Labano, this is a Spanish Mammoth. Crayola de Cocina? No clue. This one. Or the red mini bell. This is a Myra. This is the fish pepper. Is a lemon drop. Chocolate seven pot. Orange spice jalapeno. Tam jalapeno. Black Hungarian. I Barapa. My Tabasco plants. King of the North. What is left of them? An update on the foil project. These two are the only ones I haven't moved from the bottom. They're both King of the Norths. I am going to do the foil test between these two. And I am going to put up something to prevent to prevent this tower being attacked by the ducks because they're both equally pruned at this point and I think it'll still be a good experiment. I decided to put foil behind this one and see what happens. Why not? So we'll see. Which plants that I put worm castings in okay out of all my towers okay right here i have two plants one and two both are unidentified but they look to be growing about the same speed here so i'm going to take in the left one i am going to add some worm castings to the soil Two little scoops and kind of uh, break it up a little bit. Actually, gonna throw one more right on top. Okay. All right, there you go. So I have one, two. Um, they both shoot. Seem to be doing the same. This one, I have to be honest, this one already started to have a little bit of bud. So maybe that's an unfair test, but I'm still doing it. Okay, just above this right here. We have two unnamed two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the left one again because this one doesn't have a bud yet and this one does. So I think that will make this a little bit fair, a more accurate test with these two. So here I go. One, and two. I'm gonna break it up a little bit. One more. All right, so. Experiment on its way. This is exactly a week since I put the worm castings in. Um, they both have blossoms now. And this looks like it has quite a few. And this one seems to be doing good too. So time will tell. So just above those two, we have the next two that I did. So I did, did the left one again. And this one was really small in there. And it certainly has grown. So that might or might not be um, from the worm castings. But I will say this one kind of has 
the lighter green color and this one has the darker. So <laughs> I really don't have many results a week later for, for these so far. Oh, and I'm gonna discuss a experiment I almost forgot about and I didn't think I could do. And that experiment is two plants in one hole versus one plant in one hole. And check out these plants. I have here two sugar rush peaches and they're not doing the best because they're in the sandy soil and I already figured out the sandy soil does not nearly do as good as the potted soil and maybe the color has something to do with it but look that's a darker color and those plants are doing really well too so I, I'm pretty darn sure putting sand in the potting mix not a good idea with peppers but I have two of the sugar rush peaches here and I have and I have one here and they're all in sandy soil so this one is giving me blossoms so right as of right now it seems to me the sugar rush peach does a lot better on its own and not with two but time will tell to see how that's how that goes and how to identify mystery plants. So I'm here on the couch, cuddled up in books and trying to figure out what would be best to discuss <laughs> on identifying peppers. One of the things to consider are the seeds. So the very first way to identify a pepper is through the seeds. This is not helpful to me because I already have them planted. The next thing to consider is the blossoms. Number two, depending on the varieties, you might see different blossoms. I'm just taking a look at what the flower looks like. Then we want to look at the fruit itself. We want to look at the stem that meets the pepper and obviously the shape of the pepper. You are photobombing me. Be looking at shape, size of the pepper is going to make a determining factor This is how hard it is to make this video. I don't know if you see this, but I'm trying to point at all the different peppers. I should stick to doing my videos outside because as I flip, ah, <laughs> here goes the cat. I will get through this video. <laughs> all right. Now I mention these things now because Throughout this pepper project series, I'm going to be identifying mystery plants using the things that I've discussed. I might get it wrong, I might get it right. <laughs> It'll be really bad if I get it wrong and it's an extremely hot pepper, but time will tell. And I'm also bringing it up because at the very end, when I tell each pepper story and I really talk about how much it produced, um, if I'll grow it again and why and why not. I'm going to be bringing up the type of blossoms, the type of shape, the type of growth that the plant had that would help identify 
uh, a mystery pepper plant in the future. All right, another little mystery one. Kinda looks like that one. Time will tell. So beautiful.